Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Forward Line. I am back this week to talk all things sewing bee. So last night's episode, and I will say that if you haven't watched the episode, go and watch it and then come back and watch this, um, was a really fun week. So the theme this week was 80s week, which I thought was quite hilarious. Um, the first challenge, they had to make a tailored sort of power jacket with big kind of shoulder pads and pr pretty hilarious. Um, second challenge was using workwear and making it into sort of like an 80s, I guess like going out outfit, is that the right word? I sound really old when I say that, going out outfit. And then the final challenge was they had to make an 80s power dress. So for us, this was quite a challenging week, I'm not going to lie, um, vintage patterns for sure. Um, I think we did quite well, there's definitely one or two which I think you guys might be able to help with because um, you're all pattern ninjas. Um, and also I wanted to say thank you so much for last week because there were two patterns that we got wrong. One was the sew over at Heather dress and the other one was a Decades of Style dress. So thank you so much for everyone who commented below, I do go and read them all and um, yeah. Thank you. Right, so let's get started. Um, the first challenge, the 80s power jacket, um, I've got I've got three options. I've got one which is like really close to what um, was on TV and then I've got another couple of options if you want something slightly more relaxed. So the one that I think is closest is the Butterick 6738. This is part of a set so you get actually loads of, loads of stuff going on so you get a dress a top a skirt a pair of trousers and a jacket but if you look at the jacket this was m in terms of the line drawing this is definitely the closest um it's got that it's got um shaping up the front it's got the kind of big statements um collar um it doesn't have a stand on the collar because that was the thing that was really hard when i was searching finding one that didn't have a stand but had those big sort of flaps at the front um, and it's got shaping on the back as well so this was pretty much spot on if you're looking for something very similar to that and then obviously you can put as many um, shoulder pads in as you like. Um, if you want to go for something a little bit more relaxed but with that same feel I thought that the Wallace blazer from DG Patterns was really good. Um, this is actually made in Jersey so it, it's definitely going to feel more casual but this is a really nice shape and it has the same sort of feel, um, a bit, just a bit more sort of casual. Um, I always like to shove in a few indies because let's be honest, it's, it's felt like this sewing bee has been very big four orientated so I'm, I'm just trying to shoehorn a couple of indies in. The other option I thought was, which was nice, which has kind of got the same feel, is the Brenner coat from Cali Fay. Um, it's got those two big flaps at the front well, for the collar but, it, but it's a lot more relaxed fit so it doesn't feel as 80s and it's sort of oversized as well so I thought those two were quite sort of similar if you liked that sort of vibe and uh, yes so the middle section was like basically like rave wear I guess um, and there were some pretty pretty wild outfits um, I really enjoy that bit because you you can't plan for it at all so they had to really kind of think on their feet which I thought was really fantastic and then the last challenge was the 80s power dresses so this was quite tricky I'm not gonna lie we definitely struggled a bit um, but we did some serious hunting right the first person I'm going to talk to you about is Liz's 80, 80s cartoon hero cocktail dress so this had a um, one shoulder a big bow um, a ruffle, an asymmetric hem and a ruffle and another bow at the bottom, it was quite like woohoo, full on. Um, and um, we found the pattern and this one I know is right because we got a kind of flash of it on the screen. So it's the Butterick 4343. Um, you can see from the picture of it actually it looks, it does look quite different um, to obviously she's hacked it and made it her own but it's got princess seams down the front um, and I think I really like what she did with it it's really interesting when you're hunting for the pattern because quite if I think if I hadn't found half of her I think I found that it was 
I saw like a couple of the letters, a couple, um, I wouldn't have picked this as the one that she'd use, so it is very handy. But yeah, that one was spot on, so I was really pleased with that. These are all the vintage patterns I'm talking about. You can buy a lot of these on, the one I'm looking at now is on Etsy. Etsy and eBay are fantastic for vintage patterns. So this one is £5.50 um, if you want it. Um, so that was Liz's. Um, next up we had Mark's Vintage 80s Cocktail Dress. This was, I really like this one actually. Um, so kind of um, round neckline, um, darts underneath the bust, so just below, the, kind of above the waistband, quite big um, sleeves, kind of loose, quite relaxed fit on top. It was then sort of a pencil skirt with a peplum, an asymmetric peplum over the bottom. Um, it was pretty wild and he used amazing fabrics. I really liked his use of fabrics. He used, and I'm this one I know is right, it's a Simplicity 9910. Um, and he did version three. You can see the pink dress is the one that he used. And he, yeah, he didn't kind of go too far off the pattern. Um, you can see here, I think it had, um, I'm sure, yeah, he put um, shoulder pads in as well to add the shaping. But yeah, that one was pretty spot on. I was quite pleased to find out that. This one is on Etsy again. So I think actually, probably now I'm thinking about it, Etsy kind of has the kind of, probably slightly more of the in stock vintage patterns so yes if you want that one in your life you can get it um next up Therese um her, who made an 80s black cocktail dress this was quite I really loved this so the dress was quite like a little black dress it had bust darts waist darts um pencil skirt and then it had this detachable um dropped hem peplum that kind of like a waterfall hem I think you'd call that um so shorter at the front longer at the back and yet you could take it off so if you really wanted to party or you could put it on to go out partying after work and then she put these two giant bows on the sleeve so it was pretty wild um the pattern is the McCall's um where's the number 6838 um, this one is definitely right. Um, again, I think we spotted it. Um, it's, I think, so she must have used version, let me have a look. Oh, they don't have the numbers on them, how annoying. So she used the version with the straps and um, had the peplum as well. Um, I don't know, looking at this, I don't know if the peplum is detachable or whether she added that as her own feature. I feel like she might have done. But um, yeah, that one is right. And this one actually is a modern pattern, so you can actually get this one, which is fab. But yeah, I was really pleased with that. So those three I felt like we did quite well with. Then this is where we started to struggle. So Claire's 80s puffball cocktail dress. I searched for so long. Oh, and I don't think this is right, but this is very close. So if anyone has got suggestions, please let me know. So the Vogue... Um, give Givenchy. Oh, what is the number? It doesn't actually have the number on the. Let's have a look. One nine nine three. Um, looking at this, it's quite similar. So it's got. It's got a sweetheart neckline, which Claire's doesn't. So you could, kind of sort that out. It's got the big sleeve. It's fitted and it's got an asymmetric hem, but she's obviously shortened it and made it in, and I think she's made it more extreme as well. I don't think this is the one that she used. Um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts if you, if you know which, which pattern she used. But this one I thought was pretty close if you're looking for one. And it's so amazingly. Um, and the, then last but not least, we've got this one. Again, I would really like your help because it drove me absolutely wild. It's Nicole's um, dress. So hers is a 80s split and shim and she actually won garment of the week. It's sort of, it's got um, princess seams that go all the way down. It's a wrap as well. And then it's got these like huge shoulders which she would put um, multiple kind of um, shoulder pads in and then even a bra pad to make it kind of the sh sleeve stick out so what I gained 
and this is this is the only intel I've got. I am 99% sure it's a vintage simplicity pattern. I could see that it had a, a, a yellow band going all the way around it because there was a, a slight shot of it in the background. Um, then I started looking and realised that the simplicity patterns had that sort of banner around, or well, like coloured bar around the back of their packets in the 80s. But that is all I've got. I, I searched for so long that I ended up, I think I probably searched for about an hour and a half and I ended up giving up. So I found one that is quite close, not perfect at all, but could definitely give you the feel of it. So it's Style is the um, pattern brand and it's the 1627. You can see here it's got the V-neck, it's got the princess seams, it's got that... Um, the sleeve would obviously need to be made bigger and it doesn't have that sort of wrap feature at the front but this definitely has the same sort of feel. If anyone knows which pattern she used please can you tell me because I'm so, it is driving me wild and I know this is really nerdy but I am a nerd about patterns. I basically can't stop thinking about them until I found the one and I know I haven't found the perfect one but I was defeated by it. So please put me out, take me, put me out of my misery and help me out with this because I don't know. And then last was um, Matt, which was self-drafted. So we didn't, um, we didn't hunt for that one, which was amazing gold lame. And I felt so sorry for him where he got, he, he, everything started to go wrong. He got upset and I've so been there where you're so livid with yourself at everything going wrong and you just want to throw out the window. And the good thing is, is because we, we don't, we're not on the zone, we, we can just throw out the window and take a step away. But that moment where you can't get out of the situation, I just felt, really felt for him. Anyway, we're really sad to see Therese go. I think it was a real loss. Um, and next week is the quarterfinals. Can you believe it? It's kind of going very quickly. Um, yes, so we will be back next week with more of the same. Um, I hope everyone's all right and having a good week and we will be back soon with another video. Actually, we'll be back soon. We'll be back on Saturday with another video. Um, so we'll see you then. Bye.